Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We have several opportunities over the next couple of weeks for the commissioners to be a part of community events. Um, beginning Monday of next week, uh, the department heads um, and, and primarily Ms. Barwick have worked to provide Wintersville Week opportunities for all of our employees. Um, we felt like that with dealing with COVID and all the things that we have not been able to do, um, you know, we're short staffed in some areas. We've got folks out. Um, we're short of supplies in some areas. There's just been a lot of stress for everyone where that's concerned. So we wanted to do something for the employees to appreciate them and kind of give them a false sense of, of normalcy. So we have events pl planned all week. Um, the department heads have worked with some of our local folks and some of the vendors that we do business with to have door prizes um, that have been contributed. So we will draw for door prizes for all the employees through the week out of HR. Um, we have signs that will go up on Monday to all of our buildings where our employees work that say heroes work here um, so that whenever they come in they see that appreciation. Um, the departments will be participating in a fall decorating contest. If you remember we did that at Christmas. I don't know that we'll get that elaborate, but we have encouraged um, that. Then we have shirts printed for all the county employees that they will wear on Friday. And Thursday's a spirit day. Pick your team and dress up. This is kind of a historic um, Revert, it's something that the historic courthouse used to do years ago, um, mainly between Lowndes and, and Valvasta. And then we'll also be delivering lunch to the employees on Friday. And for those employees that work shifts, um, Ms. Barwick is coordinating with those elected officials um, to make sure that everyone gets fed. We may have to do it a few days before, maybe a day or two after, but we want to make sure that, that no one is left out. So on Friday, we're going to be delivering a lot of lunches because that's the, the Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. So anyone with a truck that would like to come help us deliver lunches to, um, to the offices, we would appreciate that. Um, tomorrow, I'll be dressing a Senate, a Senate study committee at BSU that is looking at food deserts across the state. Um, basically, a food desert is identified um, after the census normally, and it's a socioeconomic designation of uh, residential areas that do not have access to fresh fruits, fruits and vegetables, um, which can lead over into health issues if you're consuming primarily processed foods. So there's also an impact on health care and, and an economic development issue there. So we'll be talking about that tomorrow. Also, Commissioner Evans and I attended um, the Southside Library uh, fundraising. Um, also, uh, Mr. McLeod was there. You all may be aware that they are looking for $1.5 million to expand the Southside Library. Um, Rob Evans has worked with them. He's the architect. Fantastic plan that will enhance an area for teen, teens. It will provide a community meeting space and also give them a better children's area and some technology improvements there. So we're working with the delegation on some letters that we will um, ask you all to sign for support. I talked to Senator Goodman and he's got two pots of state money that he's looking for half a million dollars each out of to, to help them with the million dollars and then we'll do some local fundraising on the 500,000 and then we also have some SPLOST money that's designated for that project. So that will be the county support. On Thursday evening of this week from 5.30 to 8, the United Way and Leadership Lounge have uh, partnered for a mental health awareness event and the city and the county will be doing a joint proclamation. So if you all would like to be there around 5.30 on Thursday evening, there will also be food trucks. Um, also, we have planned a comp plan stakeholder meeting for September the 28th at 6 p.m., which is just after your next commission meeting. If you remember, we had um, quite a bit of comment uh, through some recent zoning requests related to the comp plan. We've got all of those um, sheets that you all have sent in with citizens providing their input and we felt like there was enough there that we needed to provide a stakeholder meeting for, for them so that we could talk about that. You all have on your desk the most recent draft of the comp plan um, and we've got the map available electronically. I know that you guys have looked at that map and have, have tweaked it some. Um, staff will be getting together with each of you prior to that stakeholder meeting to see, look at any adjustments to that that we need to make. Also, there was some concerns about the um, how part of it was drafted as it relates to our community participation participation plan, um, and that has been cleaned up as well, Mr. Chairman. Um, on September the 21st at 4:30, there will be a meet and greet for David DeSalvo, who is our new director um, at the conference center. 
Um, Commissioner Evans and I are working with him already as a part of that board. He is doing a fantastic job. It, it seems that he already loves our community, so we invite all of you to come out to Georgia Beer for that. And then the last one I have, have, which is a lot of fun, and I don't think there's any secret that it's near and dear to my heart, is on September the 22nd, Mount County Fire Rescue will be participating in a joint training at Wild Adventure. And this is a GSAR, this is so a Hangle Rescue type um, training. It's fantastic to watch. So if any of you are interested um, on going out to Wild Adventures that day and watching that training, if you will get with Ms. Barwick, she can let you know where to park and where we'll be and exactly what time. What? Mr. Chairman, I might have missed the uh, location of the comp plan meeting at 6 p.m. It'll be here in this meeting. In, in, in this meeting space here? Yes. Here in the chamber? Yes. Okay. At the time again? It will start at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Comments? Motion to adjourn.